Now the third secret is credit unions are about satisfying the financial, aspirational, a positive word, and personal needs of all our owner members as mutual shareholders in our business. Yes, business. You heard it from Her Excellency, who's played this game at a far higher level than me. There's been no collusion in what each of us was going to say this evening. It's been from our hearts and our boots. All retail clearing banks are about picking one market sector, devising products and services to exploit that sector to produce market returns for arm's length investors who might have a bit of hands-on interest or for speculative hedge funds who have none other than a very high return on capital employed and maybe a fairly speedy exit. Clearing banks in the UK were originally set up by people of great religious faith. Great religious faith. Now they're run by faithless people. And until fairly recently by two a ordained ministers of religion. Many of you will know who they are. A bit more controversy for you. Credit unions should aim to be the financial services firm equivalent of the John Lewis Partnership with a very highly regarded pastoral care for its owner members, but not like the cooperative group, a failed and failing example of how not to run a business, especially a cooperative one. This is our unique message, our raison d'etre. Even the big battalion credit unions with their own a membership of 10 to 30,000. You heard Her Excellency say what a meaningful membership was. Even the big battalion credit unions with their own memberships of 10 to 30,000 plus, but with legal fields of membership of one and a half to two million, you do the maths, don't do this or appear to endorse these unique values of mutual owner membership and cooperative values. That's why they're very small when measured against the potential growth and are a little bit complacent. Many don't seem to be selling our unique values at the beginning of the owner membership experience, endorsing it thereafter or outreaching into the entire communities that they serve with activities beyond the basic savings and loans offering. Does your credit union just stick to a savings and loan offering? Is it a community enterprise? It should aim to be. One of the deep-rooted reasons for credit unions that fail, particularly in Great Britain, is that owner members are not engaged by the core values at the outset, endorsed continuously, and their failure to exercise their mutual ownership rights. Every owner member owns the credit union on a one member, one vote basis. Welfare and welfareism, particularly in Great Britain, has largely destroyed this spirit of self-responsibility, reliance and ownership of the individual's own destiny. Sorry, but true. Edward Filene, his credit union biographies on page 22 of your brochure, stood for and practiced this view for over 50 years during some very hard times for Americans. He was not wrong in the 1930s and his views and practices are still valid today. <laughs>